everyone. James Mansell here. That's the, that's the line. Okay, start. Start over. Start over. Hi everyone, James Mansell here, bringing you yet another video. Oh my God, you guys! I am so excited to bring you another wig recreation. Ooh, <laughs> yes. Now I saw down below, you guys want to see me do a gem in the holograms inspired hairstyle. Now. I remember doing Gem in the Holograms makeup like years ago. Don't watch that video because it hasn't aged well, okay? It's, it's, it's rough. Anyways, I'm going to be doing Gem's hair today. Now, those of you who don't know who Gem in the Holograms is, Gem is a cartoon by Hasbro, I believe. Yeah, it's Hasbro. Yeah, Hasbro created it to sell a line of dolls that, you know, they made a television show to help promote, cross promote the dolls. It's sort of like Transformers in that way. Anyways, it happened in the 80s. It's on for like a few seasons, maybe even just one. But like it has a really, really big cult following. So I decided I'm going to honor your request today. Yes, we're going to do gem and the holograms. Now, of course, we can't do a gem wig without pink gem hair. So I will be right back and bring our wig into frame. Woo, transitions. <laughs> All right, I am back. I had the pink wig right here. I pre-curled it beforehand because Lord only knows. Every time I do this, I always forget to do that, but I actually did that step today. So I pre-curled it and also did like a forward roller for the bangs. As y'all seen before, it's just your typical 80s kind of preset. So first things first, we're gonna start teasing her. So I got my teasing comb ready. I'm just gonna hack into her. No, no we're not. I take that back. We're gonna do some hair cutting first because Jem's hair is sort of layered. So I'm gonna cut a few shorter sections in the front just so I can work with that. And it's gonna angle downward, you know, create tiers of hair so that I can tease this up and get big volume. <laughs> Ooh, stay there. <laughs> My comb's like, hello. Now I have to say, I was really thrilled to see that people still are interested in Gem the Holograms after all this time. Now, I wasn't around to watch it, but I did have a lot of friends that were really, really into it and like had like cassette movies of the show. I was always more Barbie and the Rockers kind of girl myself. That's what my sisters watched a lot. That little cassette tape, Barbie and the Rockers, which was like Mattel's, you know, bad, you know, imitation of Gem and the Holograms because they were being outsold for a hot second there. It's kind of a theme of Mattel, you know, the second another doll brand starts to outsell them, Barbie's just like, oh no ma'am, we can't have that. I can rock out too. And she did. Gem and the Holograms was essentially kind of like the proto Hannah Montana, if that makes any sense. She was like this blonde girl who had like a special effects hologram machine that her like genius father had made. And he also left her like a house that she made to an orphanage. There's a lot of storyline that went to the television show. Watching it back, you're like, what in the world? But yeah, she, she like was a rock star who lived a double life as a woman who ran like a foster home and she had you know, her rock star friends, and she had a punk rock band called the Misfits that would cause chaos and hated her. Who are, you know, in hindsight, the more fabulous looking group, let's be honest, and they had better songs like the Making Mischief. That one, oh, so good. <laughs> but yes, I mean, that's essentially Jim and the Holograms plot in a nutshell. She had a boyfriend with purple hair and she liked friendship. And yeah, that was about it. <laughs> that sums it up. It was essentially just made to sell dolls. Like the television show was made to sell toys. And boy, did they sell. And they're from that company Mega or Mecca. Mega or Mecca. They made like the Cher dolls and the Wonder Woman dolls back in like the 70s. And they transitioned to making like, you know, the gem dolls in the 80s. They had like the like big, like buff bodies with like lots of like articulation. They're like way bigger than Barbie was. I want to say she was like 12 inches or 13. And their clothes especially were really like the get there. Jem had amazing clothes. They're all recreations of stuff she had worn in the television show. And if you can get your hands on it now, they actually are worth quite a bit of money because they didn't make a whole lot because like I said, the show is only on for like a few years. So it's quite a rare find to find like a Jem doll in pristine condition. Yeah, never got into the gem collecting though because those dolls are huge and that's gonna take up way too much space on a mantle. I already got enough to worry about my vintage Barbie dolls. Okay, just gonna brush through that just to get rid of any hair that got tangled up. But she is the perfect length and cut to start gemming her out. So, ah! everything is falling apart around me. <laughs> I am going to begin teasing her. You already know what I do here. I just take a bit of hair. Pull it up. It's essentially an 80s tea style. And just start packing it down. And then we're gonna go in with our pick and pack it down more. 
and just do the whole head just like that. The gem happened in the late 80s and at that time it was like still like the height of like big hair and metal and all that stuff. So that's essentially what she was playing off of, you know, she had to be like a teen pop star, you know, with that big old 80s hair and just obsessed with fashion. And they had some really, really bizarre clothes for that time that I'm obsessed with. Bitter Betty or Sarah Andrews as I know her as, she had like a replica made of that pink dress with the ruffles on it. She wore it at like a gym party here and I was obsessed. It was so cute. I actually remember that being like one of the first parties in Milwaukee I went to was the Gem Jam where they all did like a gem tribute night and I dressed up for one of the first times wearing this outfit. So <laughs> glad to bring it back out of retirement. I forgot what I made this outfit for. It's like aerobics instructor. Like you ready to work out? Oh yes, it was Let's Get Physical mixed with um, Dixie Carter from her home workout video where she's doing like yoga. And like, she talks about what the yogis do called lion. And it's like Dixie Carter from Designing Women doing this primal scream like, ah. And I extended it out really, really long and had it go into like guar or something. Ah, <laughs> oh, so much fun. Remember we can go out. All right, and I'm gonna tease the rest of this and I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, I am back. Everything is all teased out. As you can see, she has big old hair and some of y'all might look at this and say, oh, she's done. But no, 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 no. We have more work to be done yet. So I'm gonna take my scissors. I'm gonna grab that section that I took off for the bangs. I'm gonna pull that down. Yes, you are bangs now. So I'm going to take little bits of time and just snip away. And that'll be our placeholder for bangs right now. And do the same thing around the other section of the face because Jem has sort of like an anime kind of vibe to her hairstyle where it like cuffs inward like that. Smells like a bubble cut. You know, she had a fringe that dipped into itself like a shag. So we are going to honor that and try our best to emulate it by taking little bits at a time of the hair away. Ernie, let's bring her on. That's us, James. Why are you being so shady? Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I just found out that iPhones, you can label people in your phone contacts. I'll show you. Hey Siri, label Trixie Mattel as my ugly friend. Okay, do you want me to remember that Trixie Mattel is your ugly friend? Yes. Okay James, I'll remember that Trixie Mattel is your ugly friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh. You learn something new every day about iPhones, I swear you guys. So, let's get back to work. All right, let's do this. Let's start snipping away. <laughs> like I said, similar up top too, we're gonna create like a little bit of a shag going on here that trickles down, because that's kind of how her hair was. It trickled down short and then got long. Now, if memory serves, I believe the gem character is all like an illusion, like it's all a hologram being projected on her by Synergy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the machine's name was Synergy. She had like a magic computer that like put clothes on. It makes no sense, okay? It's a weird show. But yeah, and with Synergy's help, she would become the rock star Gem, who, I don't know if she used the hologram to make her a good singer too, but she did that as well. And I actually am followed on Instagram by the voice actress, Samantha Newark. She's fabulous. <laughs> She's totally leaned into the Gem mythology. She loves it. I'm not sure how she felt about that new movie that came out, but, not a lot of people felt a good way about it either, so I wouldn't blame her if she didn't like it. <laughs> I never saw it because I don't support Juliette Lewis's career, okay? I just don't. And those are reasons that are just gonna have to die with me, all right? You're just gonna have to learn to live with that. Okay, keep going. And she's already sort of coming along. And I already can start to see the, like, the hair forming in itself. You already kind of see it? And that's just working with the teasing that's already in there and trimming off little bits at a time with the ends. Everything is looking good. I got hair all over my lap, but I can live with that. Oh, she's looking gorgeous and glamorous so far. Now it's time to start smoothing it because she's got the shape, but she does not have, you know, the niceness and smoothness of Jem's hair. So we're gonna try our best to start. We're gonna try our best to start smoothing as everything falls apart around me. Okay, grab a brush, start brushing through the ends to get a smoothness going. And as you can see, there is some hair that's sort of tra trailing down that should not be there. So that's part of why I left it long so that we could adjust the bangs as we saw fit. All right, you guys, so if you don't know, I'm officially gonna be moving to Vegas on May 14th. Yes, I am. I'll be making the big old jump over to Las Vegas. 
And in between that time, I will be shutting down my business. So if you're gonna be like trying to buy stuff from my website, you're just gonna have to, you know, hurry up and get it in or else once it's gone, I'll reopen it again in Vegas, but you just kind of wait that little bit of time. It's gonna be a small window of time, okay? Not a long time. I don't like to keep you folks waiting. And of course, I'll still be making videos and all that stuff, so don't worry about that. <laughs> I just wanna come back with like, you know, a new revived energy and really attack that business with a lot more fun new stuff. So for those of you who have supported me, I thank you. It will be back. It's not gone yet, but it will be gone for just like, you know, a, a moment. <laughs> I'm so over the weather here in Wisconsin. You know, it's so unpredictable. One day it's warm, the next day it's freezing cold, need a jacket. I just rather be in a desert where all I have to worry about is a coyote eating me. Yes, that is my kind of journey. And I want that for myself. <laughs> okay, now that. We're gonna do the same thing in the front as well, where we're gonna continue to go through with the brush and bring it together and bring it under. Cause like I said, it sort of shags in the front with Jem's hair. And it's a little unpredictable cause you know, it was rushed animation. So sometimes the hair looked a certain way and sometimes it could be a little crunchy. Sometimes people are missing limbs because you know, it was made on a shoestring budget in a limited amount of time. Probably under a lot of different animation studios too that we just did not know the style. That's always fun about those old shows. Like sometimes you'll watch it, you're like, what happened to Daphne's hand? They're like, it's on for the screen for a second. No one's gonna notice. But when you did, it could be traumatizing. <laughs> I mentioned it before, but in case you're jumping in later on in the game, I will be closing down my PO box as well very soon. So don't send anything else to that PO box out of fear that I might not get it, okay? And forwarding is a nightmare. So I'll reopen that later and make a big announcement. If you wanna send, you know, wigs or stuff to be transformed in my videos, I'll let you know when it's back up and running. I'll get to it, I swear. This I swear. Oh my God, like the Nick Lachey song <laughs> about Jessica Simpson. I promise, I'll keep that promise, okay? I will keep the promise or try my best to. Ah! Oh no! Holy cow, my mannequin woke up and chose violence today. I told you I don't want to wear that wig. Um, I'm going to smooth out these bangs a little more. I'll be right back because this is a tr this is traumatic, okay? I need a break. What is wrong with you? <laughs> All right, I'm getting back to what I was doing now. I'm just going through the wig and smoothing it out. Brush through the bottoms a bit and make sure it is nice and smooth throughout. A little boring, but you know what? Boring sometimes equals good results. I feel like that's the case. You know, that's how life usually works. Unless it's like a standardized test and that's just boring. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through this. Oh my God, speaking of which, the scandal. I've been watching a lot of Netflix recently. <laughs> I've gone through every documentary, every tawdry documentary on Netflix I have watched. I watched that one about um, about the about the, 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 um, the whales and the dolphins. And um, I'm already drawing a blank. What was that about again? Whales, dolphins. Seaspiracy. Yes. Okay. Uh, Seaspiracy, and it was about how um, hunting whales and dolphins is bad, and how fishing is bad, like mass fishing for like food and stuff. Which I already was kind of on board of team don't eat fish because eating fish is nasty. I I will stand by that statement. Eating fish is nasty because as they say in Drop Dead Gorgeous, don't eat anything that carries its house on its back. <laughs> they swim in their own filth. Anyways. <sighs> Yeah, I watched that, and I also watched that other one about the admission scandals with the rich people buying their kids' colleges and having some, like, dude make Photoshop pictures of their kids on, like, rowing teams and stuff. <laughs> so terrible. Maybe glad I didn't go to a real college. I'm glad I got sucked into a for-profit school and left, you know, when I got hip to it. Oh, what was the other one? I started watching a couple series. I watched a, um, a series. It's... I don't want to say it's a telenovela, but it's a telenovela, okay? It's called Who Killed Sarah? Yes. And again, I, I have to stop doing this where I ruin everything for myself. Like I got to like episode three or four and you got flashbacks and you saw that Sarah didn't like gay people. And you're like, well, I don't care who killed her anymore. Let her stay dead. I don't care. <laughs> good riddance. Yeah, they weren't. They weren't making a good case for Sarah and me for wanting to like see her vengeance. They probably should just change that name to somebody would have killed her eventually. It got me on like a fix of telenovelas and I started looking up old ones like Mari Mar or basically anything starring Talia, like so every telenovela ever. I realized she was in so many telenovelas, oh my gosh. She was in like three at once at the same time. It's crazy, that girl's career. <laughs> 
Oh, remember that tragic crossover she tried to make? Oh my goodness. <laughs> that song with Fat Joe? Oh my goodness. And they, like tried to advertise her like she was J-Lo. So weird. That was a weird time. And it had like um a little bit of love was the sample before Ariana Grande took it for The Way, that Brenda Russell song, which is by far the superior song, no matter what. Fight me on that. A little bit of love is the, is the superior song. I don't care what you say. Don't want to be a player. The Way, Brenda Russell wins. Okay, now. Piano in the Dark, that is a great album, oh my God. We are almost done just about. I feel like I have the hair where I want it. And I've just been going through with my pick and just pulling up volume. And if you want to make it even bigger, you honestly just do a double stack, but that's kind of how her hair was. It's like a shag, you know, double stack. It's like a shag, big 80s hairstyle. And again, it's kind of hard to pinpoint exactly how it looked because it was drawn differently all the time. Because like I said, Cheap show, shuffled around animators. Nothing was ever really consistent on that show. But this is pretty much the final result. I'm feeling pretty happy with her. I'm just gonna go through and push up some teasing here and there. And I feel like we're done. I'll be right back with the final <laughs> result. <laughs> Welcome back. This is the final result. Oh my God, Jen is my name. I am feeling like Gem and the Holograms right now, okay? Yes, Gem and the Holograms. Gem and the Holograms, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Anyways, oh, this wig is fabulous, but it is just missing one more thing. The James Mansfield Magical Wig Spray from Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. Let's just give this wig a spritz. Ah. Now my hair smells just like cream soda. Available at blackphoenixalchemylab.com. And grooming can be an absolute drag, but thankfully I have Manscaped. Use my code JANES20 for 20% off your purchase, plus free shipping. And I would like to take a moment, a Venmo moment where I thank everyone who's tipped me on Venmo, and I also have some PayPal emojis. I would like to thank Brian, Sergio, Sean, Steven, Margo, Taylor, Sergio again, good lord. Much appreciated though. <laughs> Meve, Honey LeBronx, thank you girl. Monica, and I also have a PayPal emoji from Regina, Paul, and Jan. <laughs> thank you all so much for the tips on Venmo and the PayPal emojis. Now thank you so much for the suggestion for Gem and the Holograms. I hope this is everything you hope for. <laughs> I feel truly, truly, truly outrageous in this. Oh my goodness. If there's any wigs you want to see on this channel, me recreate or anything, let me know down below in the comment section. I'm always open to suggestions. Yes. Now, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye. Now hit the outro. Click here and watch my updated makeup routine. Or it's me transform all wigs, both on it. Hard front. Come on, click it. You know you want to. If you don't click it, someone's going to write a terrible telenovela about your life. So click it. Escándalo. Do it. <laughs>